Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Tuesday, March the 19th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And it is a beautiful day today. As a matter of fact, tonight, uh, spring begins. 8.06 local time. The sun will cross the equator and will be into the springtime season. I'm here to read for you the entry for today from the book Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson based on Dallas Willard's book Hearing God. Today's entry is entitled Pre-Existing Ideas. Jesus replied, Are you in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of... Sorry, I'm going to read that again because I I butchered it. Jesus replied, You are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. Matthew 22, verse 29. If we are limited by our pre-existing ideas and assumptions, no amount of stories, signs, or miraculous events will convince us that God will speak to us. Think about that. These ideas determine what we can see or hear and how we interpret scripture and others' stories about hearing God. In Jesus' account of the rich man, and Lazarus, the rich man wanted Father Abraham to send Lazarus to my father's house to convince them to be kind and avoid this place of torment. Read Luke chapter 16, verse 27 and verse 28. Abraham wisely replied that if the rich man's brothers on earth, in quotes, do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will pay no heed even if someone should rise from the dead, close quotes. That's Luke chapter 16, verse 31. Their pre-existing ideas defeated them. Warning them would have been fruitless against their false pre-existing ideas. Their limited understanding of Scripture and of the power of God kept them from genuine faith in Him. To reflect, what possible pre-existing ideas keep you from hearing God? Notions that you aren't important to God? That God doesn't want to relate to us? What, if anything, might hold you back? My dear friends, as always, I commend you for taking a few minutes out of your day to listen to me as I read one of these devotional reflections written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. I'm going to place some material for you to use in your reflection time in the description portion of this video, and I pray that you'll take the time to go over that and ponder these things. And I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I'll read the next entry from Hearing God Throughout the Year. Until then, may you walk in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you.